Pennsylvania Farm Bureau members care about their communities. One way of demonstrating that is by securing donations for Ronald McDonald houses in Pennsylvania, which they've done for 16 years in a row. As part of Food Checkout Week, farmers collected food, cash, and other necessities for Ronald McDonald houses in Danville, Hershey, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, and Scranton. In many cases, the donations collected by Farm Bureau volunteers fill the pantries of those houses, which provide meals and a place to stay for families whose children are dealing with serious illness. Peggy Starkey, who serves on the board of directors for the Ronald McDonald House in Danville, says Farm Bureau has been instrumental in helping the house. You've woven yourselves into the lives of others, making it a better place for them. When we have children and the families coming in, and they need a bed, they need a shower, and they need food. You guys are the ones that we depend on to be able to fill that pantry. This year, Farm Bureau volunteers raised more than $60,000 for Ronald McDonald Houses, bringing the total amount of donations raised since 1998 to $900,000. Ann Scardino, who serves on the board of directors for Philadelphia's Ronald McDonald Houses, says Farm Bureau has become a committed partner in the group's mission. Spend so much money that you have brought to us, and you bring us food, which is anyone who has been to the house knows the heart of the house, just like the heart of a home, is your kitchen. Jim Murray, former general manager of the Philadelphia Eagles, played an instrumental role in establishing the first Ronald McDonald House in Philadelphia back in 1974. Since then, it has grown into a worldwide effort to provide a safe haven for families. Today, there are 336 Ronald McDonald Houses in 35 countries. Those great things start right at the door. So thank you for planting your seeds, helping it to grow, and you know, we're all in this together. Pennsylvania Farm Bureau's Food Checkout Week relies heavily on volunteers to work in their communities to raise donations for the houses. This is near and dear to my heart. This has been one of the best projects I think that the Farm Bureau has gotten involved in. And it all revolves around the children and how important it is and how much they mean to us. Finally, the staff and volunteers at Ronald McDonald Houses offered praise and thanks to Farm Bureau members for their continued generosity and community spirit. I can't thank you enough. I know our board cannot thank you enough. I know our staff can't thank you enough. And more importantly, the families and the children that you serve. No one's more important than the next. No one. It's all of us being together, doing everything that we possibly can to serve the mission. And the mission is the children and their families. I'm Mark O'Neill, Pennsylvania Farm Bureau News.